Wheels has a great contest where they have just regular folks build outlandish cars uh, to see which would make a great Hot Wheel car. Please subscribe, like, and share. Now, what I will show everybody here is the proper start. Okay, let me back up a little bit. We have issues with our high performance cars, but this also applies to your regular car. If you are a part time driver, you're, you don't use your car every day, but you only go out on weekend like my Raptor. It only goes out Friday, if that, or Saturday or Sunday, and it does, does short trips. Now, the dilution of the oil creates wear on the timing chain because the oil is thin okay and most damage on an engine if you can trace it are to cold starts when your car said the oil today are very thin they don't have a film not like before we have thicker heavier oil there's a thin that leaves itself on the bearing surface on the cylinder wall that's hardly the issue here with the, to the, today's oils very thin and they're like water they start to drip down the cylinder wall or on the bearings and when you let your car sit for three days four days a week or maybe more and you jump in you start it up it's a dry start and before the oil gets circulated your car is already running especially those fuel injected cars they're fast they few clicks click like a broom start wow that's where you have the wear and tear and I think that's what happened with my cam phasers and the timing chain and this otherwise neat and, and uh, beautifully engineered uh, car like most out there the engineering is just superb but some of these technologies are going overboard what I will show everybody here is how to start your weekend warrior after it's been sitting for a long long time okay so you just don't jump in there and start in fact on some of our race cars we go in there and take off the, the drive, the drive belt to the uh, oil pump and we run an electric drill and spin the oil pump shaft for a significant amount of time, depends on how long it sits, just to circulate the oil on the crankcase and onto the rock arms and everything. You can do the same thing with your production car, so you feel like you're a racer, but <laughs> actually this procedure helps and I suggest you guys follow this especially when you have your your corvette mustang hellcat whatever high performance four cylinder car you have sitting for a while and goes out only on a weekend or to a month or sometimes even longer this start procedure would apply to everybody and it brings the oil pressure basically before you light it up and look at this video and see what you think and i hope it helps okay here is the Raptor right behind me here and uh, I'll do the start sequence all right I'll open this door here so we can hear the engine cranking and let me go this way this is quite a bit I hope I don't jerk the camera around now here we go is do not step on the brakes and We'll play with that later. Turn the switch on without stepping on the brakes. Turn the switch on again. Mm -hmm. Now you'll see the oil pressure gauge right there. Okay. And step on the brakes and floor the gas. And go back and watch that oil pressure gauge. All right. Let me get a better focus on that. Pressure on. There you go. All right. Let me do that again. Turn on the switch without stepping on the gas. I just turn on the switch. Watch that oil pressure. Again, step on the brake and floor the gas. And when you do this, Crank, watch the oil pressure gauge, let go of the gas. And let me repeat. You turn on the ignition without stepping on the brake because that will light up the engine real quick. 
turn it on while the gauges actually show up on your dashboard and then you step on the brake when the gauges are showing and then you floor the gas pedal you crank it and look at your oil pressure as soon as you see the oil pressure come up let off the gas pedal and it will start right up perfect priming situation on a car that's been sitting a long time everybody should practice this okay like I said the direct injection is responsible for a lot of these issues of thinning oil low speed uh, issues with detonation and not only that when the direct injection sometimes they spray directly on the cylinder wall it's like taking a squirt bottle and spraying the cylinder wall with fuel and there's no way oil can hang on there and then the rings come up and wash itself out so that's an issue that we got to look at now the other technique is you can step on the brake and click it off on automatically okay, another technique that we can do to self prime the engine is to get this again uh, if you've been sitting for a while put on the brake and you do this do that about three to four times did it three to four times There's a third one okay so you do that sequence just to prime the engine and get it get it going and that would uh, self prime the engine but I like the previous one that I showed okay so I hope this helps please uh, share like and subscribe to my channel and again we will touch bases on racing technologies and street oriented subjects and hopefully we can get a better understanding and uh, enjoy our ride a little bit longer okay thank you very much peace out guys bye bye Please subscribe, like, and share.